All right, so in today's video, I'm skipping the main introduction. I can't lie, I'm feeling kind of ill today. I wasn't going to record. I didn't really want to get on camera, but I didn't want to miss a day of uploading. But I am flipping subscribers loops today. A lot of people have been asking me to do this, so shout out to everyone that sent me loops. My inbox was mad full. I can't get through everyone's. I'm going to try and do these regularly if people like the videos, but I'll start with the first one. The first one's from a guy, HM1. So shout out to HM1. He sent me this. And to be honest, I don't really need to flip anything. He's already got quite a lot of effects. He's got that nice bouncy reverse piano that I like. Everything else just sounds good. So I'm just going to add to it. Definitely want a few vocals in this. So I'm going to use exhale for this one. So yeah, I'm thinking something simple like this. I'll use a snare from a new kit for this one. Let's get a simple bounce going. I'm going to change it on quarter step so I can get some closer ones in. And then maybe roll this last one. I'm just changing up the end. Coming up to F, I'm going to slide it up. So I want it to go. The two here, quick slide. So I've got this for the eight weight pattern. Mm, sorry, cold. I'm going to create a bus for the instruments, just these three, just so anything that I apply is going to affect all of them. I'm just right clicking and uh, root to this track only. I just want to check the EQ. There's just one frequency that's building up. I'm just going to pull that down a little bit. Need a punch a kick. Let's copy that eight weight pattern, get rid of these slide notes, and then get rid of some of the other notes as well. Just wanted to check the kick and eight weight without the melody. Yeah, I think they work well together. Definitely an open hat too. I might just record something in for the open hat. Of course, we've got to get the signature perks in there. And then I just want this reverse effect in. It's going to start here, but then finish around here. And then same again at the end. All right, I've got most things that I need. I'm just going to quickly level it and then arrange it. I want to pan the hi-hats. I'm just going to use pan man for this. Perks are already banned. So it's an open hat. I'm just gonna boost the highs. And to be honest, I do most of the leveling right in the channel rack, so I don't need to do too much in the mixer. Just copy everything across and quickly arrange it. Mm. Sounds cold. Yeah, there's too much going on. I think I might start with the verse this time. I start with the hook a lot, but let's start with the verse. So I'm going to save this until later, even take this out and the vocals. I'll keep them perks in and let's bring this reverse in. But let's chop the hi-hats up a bit. We don't want to ruin the surprise. This should sound cold with the reverse in. Mm. I'm going to take out the vocals and the choir just a little teaser for the piano so let's chop this up 
I'm gonna take out the hi-hats here as well. Maybe just leave the bass here. I definitely want to switch up the 808 pattern too. Do you know what? I think it's too busy with these vocals. I think I'm just going to keep them in the verse somewhere. Definitely want to filter them out a little bit more. I don't want them so present. So I'm just going to cut the lows and the highs. All right. So I've switched up the second 808 pattern, copied it into the kick, took some out just to add some variation. All right. So the first one's done. Switch up so hard. Might turn them open hats down a little bit. So this eight way pattern is different. I just switched it up. normal pattern. And vocals just fit nicely underneath. And everything for the hook just sounded cold. Alright, so the next one's from Ruthless. Shout out to Ruthless, man. He won the last big competition that I hosted and he killed my loop, so it's only right that I kill his. This loop's sick. And then the piano's coming here. Mm. Yeah, I can definitely do something with this. Again, I didn't want to mess with this one too much because it already sounds hard, but I will flip it some ways. One of them I'm going to add half time, but I'm going to make it twice as fast first. It's just going to add a different vibe. And then the other flip is going to be with Effectrix. So I'm going to render this one too, and now I've got three different ones to play with. Remember when you get them reverse effects, it kind of delays the intro. So you need to cut the beginning and cut the end, and then it'll be on time. So now we've got this as well. Yeah, this is gonna be mad. I'm gonna use the classic chop snare for this one. I haven't used it for a while. I'm just gonna record a pattern in. Just something simple for this one. Alright, so for the 808, I've got something in my head. So that's the pattern I'm hearing. Let's just find the slide notes now. So for the eight-way pattern, I've got this. Now I need to layer that with a kick. So now we've got this. Right, I'm thinking of rim, definitely just to get a bounce. All right, I want this gun clock in there. And a gunshot too. I want that to hit when the kicks hit. So it's gonna sound like this. 
All right, so now I need to arrange it. I don't want to add too many things in here. I'm making these beats with the intention of getting artists on them, so I don't want to go too mad. So this is fine as the intro. I need something to transition that. This is going to sound hard, so this is going to play during the intro as well. Mm. Or maybe I could get two in. Maybe I could get the vinyl stop there too. Alright, so I need to switch the eight weight part for this bit because this is when the melody changes. Alright, so something like this for the second part. It's nice and simple. And then I'm going to use the same effectric settings on the eight weight just before the hook. I'm just testing things out. Kinda like it, you know. All right, for the hook, I think I want a synth bass in this section and a grind bass. Panning these grind bases left and right. I've right, just taken this impact. I could have grabbed one from my pack, but I just wanted to switch things up. I'm just reversing that before the hook. Alright, I'm gonna get this camera flashing as well. I'm just adding some more effects at this stage. Alright, so I think I've finished this beat. I might add a couple more effects, but here's what I've got. Sample's too much. It comes in with a verse. I didn't want to go too crazy with effects in this one. And then the pattern changes here. Come back in. So everything actually slows down for the hook. It could be more of a bridge, just a different way to structure your beats. And then the synth bass and the grind bass comes in here, it just sounds mad. Definitely getting artist on this one. This sounds cold. So shout out to Ruthless and HM1 for the loops. Both beats came out cold, so I'll be uploading them to my website and BeatStars, splitting everything 50-50. So if you want to get involved in the next one, then I'll leave the email address in the description, and I'll see you next time.